In the 2015 movie, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Marvel Comic introduced the Hulkbuster, a more advanced and stronger suit that was specifically designed to fight against the Hulk. The Hulkbuster first appeared in 1994 during a series of stories written by Len Kaminsky and penciled by Kev Hopgood. In Iron Man 304, the first appearance of the Hulkbuster was made, but it's just the final page as a teaser for Iron Man 305. The Mark 44 armor, better known as the Hulkbuster, was Tony Stark's 44th Iron Man suit, made with the help of Bruce Banner. Created solely for the purpose of restraining the Hulk, it is a modular suit that Tony used while in another Iron Man armor. It is launched from an orbital tracking platform, known as Veronica and was used by Stark to fight the Hulk during the Duel of Johannesburg. The Hulkbuster is 11 feet high, which makes it the tallest armor to date. Its height is 3 feet taller than the Hulk. Aside from its height, it is also the heaviest armor existing in the MCU. The Hulkbuster is a modular armor wherein armor pieces are attached to a base armor making it much bigger. The armor is composed of a dense gold titanium alloy. The Mark 44 is equipped with larger and more powerful repulsors to help sustain flight with the increased weight of the armor and has a very wide unibeam, which is presumed to be very powerful. The Unibeam is a particle weapon on Iron Man's chest and a more powerful version of the hand repulsors. It is directly linked to the arc reactor and has been modified to fire highly concentrated repulsor blasts. The arc reactor was a fusion-type power source featuring a palladium core, and was the initial power source of the first Iron Man Mark suits, and was later modified to an advanced level by Tony to power the Hulkbuster. Like all other armors, the Mark 44 has flight capabilities, although given its size, its speed and mobility are reduced. Like all of his armors, the suit contains a heads-up display within the helmet to allow Stark to analyze the environment. The helmet's eyepieces feature infrared, X-ray, night vision and telephoto lenses. Both arms are equipped with hydraulic rams which make them capable of delivering powerful blows, and use the fists as a jackhammer. In addition, the suit had a set of sleeping gas canisters outfitted in its arm which Stark tried to use on Hulk. On the side of the arms are the guards, which are used to reduce damage to a unit during a melee combat while increasing impact. Around the knees are the auxiliary arc reactors which are used to increase strength, thrust and reserve power capacity. The thrusters give additional boost support to accommodate increased weight. Should the Hulkbuster armor sustain heavy damage, Veronica hovering above the armor will respond to the authorized user's command by sending spare parts to replace the ones that were damaged. Fearing the day when the Hulk's rage might become too much to control, Tony Stark developed this mighty armor as a countermeasure to Hulk's brute strength. Assembled upon command from a series of modular components, the Hulkbuster armor encompasses Iron Man's normal suit, encasing him in an extremely durable shell. The armor's design is reinforces with powerful servos and dense plating, allowing it to withstand even the Hulk's strongest outburst. In the Avenger, Infinity Wars, the Mark 48 was designated as a Hulkbuster 2.0, and was powered by one or more arc reactor cores. It was used and operated by Bruce Banner, to fight Thanos and the Black Order at the Battle of Wakanda, while Tony Stark was off-world. However, the numerous Iron Man armors that Tony Stark built throughout his presence in the MCU perfectly showcased his otherworldly intellect as well as his penchant for spectacle. But despite making around 93 armors in total, he only wore 19 of them on screen. So, what is your favorite Iron Man suit? If you have any suggestions or request, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe for more upcoming animations. Thanks for watching.